morning. Is everybody doing okay? Yeah, everyone's good? All right, well, I got something interesting to show y'all this morning. I'm gonna read the scripture first, okay, to start us out, and then I'm gonna show you something, okay? And the scripture comes from John chapter 17, and it's verse 14, and it says, I have given them thy word, and the world hateth them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Hmm, sounds kind of interesting, doesn't it? I'm going to be talking about the world a little bit. So I've got something I want to show you. I made these. Parents, don't kill me. Anyway, so I want you to pretend. What do you see in this? What do you see? Anybody see anything? Water. What else? Green water. Okay. Oh, you see words on it. Oh, good. It says, in the world, not of this world. Good. You're paying attention. There are two things in there. So we're going to be talking about in the world. What's something that's in our world? Jesus. Cats. Yeah. What else? Dogs. Puppies. Horses. We got all kinds of animals. Well, what about people? Are people in the world? What about beautiful creation and the trees and the flowers? Butterflies. Oh my goodness, there's so many beautiful things in our world. Oh my goodness. Tucker? Yes? Did you think of something? Well, we got lots of things in our world. Oh, you were waving. Okay, never mind. All right, so think for a minute. What's in our world? We got a lot of cool stuff in the world, don't we? And we live in the world, so people are a cool thing, right? And we live in the world. All right, now I want you to pretend. All right, you got your pretend brain on? Look up here. You got to look at this. So do you see how it's separate? All right, I'm going to shake it. Watch what happens. Wait, it looks like everyone's mixed in. Everything's mixed in. You'll get to when you get yours later, okay? All right, do you see what I'm talking about? Oh, it's separated again. Wait. It keeps separating. So guess what? The green water represents our world and all the things that the world wants us to do. The yellow that you see is oil, and it will never, ever mix in. And that represent people that know God, that are Christians, that have asked Jesus to save them and to come into their life. And you know what our job is in the world? Our job is to be separate from the world. Separate. Do you see how this is separate? But when we're in the world, it's easy to get mixed up unless we're listening to God's Word and praying and reading our Bible and knowing what to do that's right. So we are in the world, but we're not of the world. In other words, that means that we live in the world that God created for us, but He doesn't want us to be like the world. He wants us to be different or holy, set apart from everything else in the world. Does that make sense? So watch again. Cool, isn't it? And guess what? The only way we can be set apart is to know Jesus as our Lord and Savior. And you have to have salvation. In other words, all different colors. So what does the water represent? What does the green water represent? The what? The world. What does the yellow represent? Separate. What? Did you? That's right. That's right. Yes, that's cool. Yes, ma'am. Just a minute. Listen. Yes, that's cool. So, but God wants us to be separate, doesn't He? He doesn't want us to be like the world because the world wants us to do things that are wrong. The world wants us to lie and steal and be mean to other people. But God wants us to ask Him to come into our heart and to save us. So that we will be separate and different. All right. So I got. Are we ready? Okay. 
That's right. You have a choice to open the door or not open the door. Very good. So in other words, right and wrong basically is kind of what this represents to me. Because if we have a godly view, that means we're the yellow. And we know Jesus is our Lord and Savior. But if we're the green, it means we're kind of lost in the mess of the world. Let's pray. I'll bow your heads. Close your eyes. Here we go, girls. We're going to pray. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for all you do for us, Lord. Just thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross for our sins, Lord. Thank you for these kids and what they mean to me and what they mean to you, Lord. Just help each of them to recognize that they need to be separate from the world. Not, we do live in the world, but Lord, we don't have to be of the world. We need to read, our, read the word and to learn more about you, Lord. Lead us and guide us in all that we do. In your name I pray. Amen.